he has a love for this game that you can't, you can't uh, help but notice. There are a lot of smart guys, a lot of, a lot of brilliant guys, a lot of well-educated guys who want to be into baseball, and Copy is that. But he also has this natural instinct and love for the game of baseball that, it, that makes him dig into it, to be creative, to be uh, inventive, to, to be unique, to do something that helps an organization that someone may not have thought of before. And that's how he thinks. And, of course, Braves president John Scherholz talking about the man to my right, John Coppolella, named the Braves general manager, 12th general manager in the history of the Braves franchise, and only the fourth general manager since 1991. We were talking about that copy at the start of the broadcast tonight. It really is remarkable, the continuity of this Braves franchise, and you've seen that firsthand. You've been here almost a decade now in, in a variety of roles, and now uh, you're in charge of the baseball operation uh, underneath John Hart. Yeah, and... You know, um, I think that that's a great, great uh, thought there. You know, I mean, just what uh, John uh, Scherholz, you know, when he first took over 25 years ago, he went on a run of 14 straight uh, NL East titles. Actually, I think for the first part, the first four or five may have been um, NL West, mm -hmm. and then they had to switch um, NL East. But, you know, just with what he built here was something very special. Um, I think that, you know, once he left our uh, GM chair, you know, um, there were some things that did change and there was less of a focus on young players, more of a uh, focus on the here and now. And I think what we've really tried to do this year is really get back to young impact players. John, one of the things that kind of stuck out as I was listening to that soundbite from uh, John Scherholz was talking about your enthusiasm for the game. But this job is not seasonal. It's not uh, spring training to October 1. It's year-round, 24-7. It's going to require a ton of energy, too. And yeah. I, know, I know you have the energy. Oh, I've got it. I've I know, got you, it. <laughs> I know I've you're got ready it. You know for what? it. Um, we had signed uh, A.J. Prusinski Christmas Eve day. We'd signed Jason Grilly December 23rd. I mean, we made the deal for Manny Benwell's New Year's Day. Um, there isn't ever really one day that goes by I'm not on the phone with John Hart and it's probably I'd say five or six days a week I'm on the phone with uh, with uh, John Scherholz you know what I mean they're just you know what I mean it's part uh, friendship it's part just you know you try and find a way each day to how can we get better how can we get this club to the playoffs to the World Series to where we want to be every day and it's not an easy road there isn't a quick fix but we will get better every year, and we have a very bright future here. So the question I have, and I'm sure fans who follow the club will have as well, you have John Scherholz, you have John Hart, now you have John Coppolella taking over this job. How do you put your own stamp on this job, number one? And number two, how much autonomy in this job will you have as far as making decisions that you feel are in the best interests of the ball club? Yeah, I'm not really worried about my own uh, stamp on the club. I mean, it's we and us, it's a, I mean, a team. I don't think anything will end up, uh, you know, where it's a big change. Uh, at the end of the day, the final calls rest with uh, John Hart. And he's, I mean, great. He's been uh, through this. He's won everywhere. Very, very smart. Um, you know, look, I just want to be a part of something special. So, and, you know, I'm very fortunate to have that opportunity here. By the way, this young man that we knew almost nothing about has done a heck of a job, Ryan Weber. He's been great. He's been great. That's his sixth strikeout. Bryce Harper still hitless in this series. And two quick outs in the fourth inning. I would venture to say that there's not another general manager in baseball, uh, with all due respect to some of the other upper-level executives, that has the uh, stewardship that you have to call on to the resources to call on with Absolutely. the other two Johns you yeah. know if you're as well as if you're uh, stuck or Bobby, have a question yeah, yeah as well as uh, Bobby uh, Cox you sure. know, he was a former uh, GM too yeah. and you know he's a, a big part of that uh, Sunshine Boys you know and it's a great group I'm very uh, fortunate just to have that and to where I can I mean, call and like get help and guidance and all that so Good it's for a, you. That hasn't always been the case since uh, John Scherholz stepped down. No, no. That hasn't no, always been the case that no. somebody would actually ask somebody else's opinion. So yeah. good for you. No. 
So now that you're the Thank guy, you. you're the GM, can you give yourself a night off Saturday to go to the game, or what are you going to do then? <laughs> um, Saturday, I will be here. It's a huge, huge game, Tom. I mean, as you know, uh, number six at uh, number 12, it'll be a great game. Uh, you know, they're on at eight. We're on at seven. I hope that we have real quick um, eight and one-half inning game where, you know, like we're out here in 202. I mean, we were out here last night about 212. That was yeah, great. That was nice. Yeah, yeah. and then, uh, you know, I could probably get home and watch the uh, second half of the game. It would be great. And so. for, the, for those who don't know John's history, he is a proud alumnus of Notre Dame. Magna cum laude, right? Yeah, yeah. I don't know what uh, that means like Joe said. That yeah, sounds means, pretty good. Uh, yeah, yeah, it means really good. <laughs> and grades. they're playing, and he's rooting for Notre Dame, even though Clemson is a big part of Braves well, country. So no, it's a great Don't take it personally, all well. of our fans. I Clemson, in, in I think Clemson's like great. Death Valley, I mean, that's going to be a great matchup. So it'll be fun. Clint Robinson's the only man to touch the plate so far. He had a home run the other way in the second inning. one nothing. Washington the lead. So it seems like a foregone conclusion now obviously like we talked about uh, earlier on that you were going to get this job but in realistically it's you know we got three days left in the season there your name was attached to a lot of openings out there was there any nerves that well wait a minute what's what is going to go on here are they going to really let me do this thing or what. Yeah um, I think that there was a spot and I don't want to get too far into it but there were a few uh, teams that had uh, called and you know, it was something where I always wanted to, you know, uh, you know, just to uh, be here. I mean, just with what we had first started last year at this time with John Hart. I mean, I feel like we're on the right track. I feel like we will end up getting back to being a team that can, you know, um, each year when you go in spring training, you feel like you, you know, have a chance to end up in the World Series. I think we're on the right track. Um, you know, it's a great, great uh, team here, you know, just on the field, off the field, uh, front office scouting, all of it. Um, I did not want to leave. Um, at the same time, it's something that could obviously change your life. And I was just glad that I could stay and help see this through. Some great people here. Well, copy. We are too. We're thrilled for you. Thank you, guys. Congratulations, Mr. Capolo. <laughs> John Capolo, <laughs> the new general manager. Thank the you, guys. Braves. Joe, Tom. 2016 is starting now.